all right welcome back to another video guys today we are going to have a heart and heart conversation as it regards to choosing managers pr and your entourage all right this question was asked by a nigerian artist on instagram he's on the verge of getting a big break and he wants to take into consideration choosing the right manager um going about getting pr and also an entourage i think it's also applicable to jamaican artists it's very important because my listen out to you guys music and you guys have the potential to break big as well so you need to take into consideration why you need a manager and what a manager actually do for you or do for your career all right so i'm not going to talk about the pr and the entourage as yet we're going to leave that for our next video because if i did it would be too long of a video and we're going to try to keep it a minimum of 10 minutes all right so we're gonna get straight into it, we're not gonna waste any time. A manager. What does a manager do? Or before we get to a manager, you need to be able to have something to manage. So if you're on the verge of break and the contracts start coming in, you start getting out of cars, record label reach out to you, at that point you need a manager. Managing is a lot of work. Remember, you, know, you have to consider yourself as a business. You're in the business of art, you're entertaining. So the manager needs to be able to control or manage that business, which is you. It's going to be hard for you to manage yourself and focus on the creative aspect of the business because it's a lot of administrative work. I have a lot of work to do. Probably sometime in the future, I'm going to need a manager. I mean, a boss big as it because we register song, release song, create this, create that, promote it. It's a lot of work. And you still have a personal life to think about. All right. So make me look into it. Um, what does a manager do? We're going to look at some points. The first thing a manager should be able to, to do is help you to make business decisions. All right. So a manager will help you decide which record label you have to sign to, which publishing deal you have to take, how much percentage of your ask for stuff like that. Remember, you, know, you focus on the creating aspect. Sometimes you don't know these things. And the manager should have his head on his body, he should ha have a lot of knowledge about the music industry, have a lot of knowledge about the industry standard, what is expected, what should be done and stuff like that. So that's the first point. You need to be able to help you to make those drastic decisions and he should be able to act on your behalf. He, he should act as the median between you and the real world. So signing contracts, speaking to corporate, stuff like that. You should not be able to be out there doing that. You should be in the studio, be on tour, doing shows, stuff like that, while he or she handles the business aspect. All right. The next point, them should be able to help you with the creative aspect of your music industry, of the music process. All right. So them will say, there's a producer down there. We have some really good beats. Let's work with him. Let's try and get a track with him. We think him can take a career to the next level. Or, or um, the verse and the song good. Go back and I see the record. They take out this, put in that. Stuff like that. Him, him need to be able to guide your career in the right path. Go out there, listen, and go at the parties, go at the, go at the events and find out where, where, the, where the customers, where the listeners, because remember, you're a business. What the listeners looking for, what, what, what's the trend? Where is the music industry going and try to gear or guard your, your creative process in that direction. All right. Think about Romish and, and TJ or Shensia. Sorry. In, 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 in find them at a certain level, TJ was on the verge of breaking big. Him take him and put him to the next level. Shensia, him have Shensia as a backup dancer, a battle girl, I'm not sure. For some time, and him realized that she have the image she have some lyrics or stuff like that and then bring her to the next level so you have to be able to do that as a manager all right i remember that the manager them now come and tell them here something i go on for you know? so you can dung in the trenches dung in the studio record the whole life and and as soon as something break you hear you get an email or you get a phone call xyz i reach out to you more manager career all right the next point them should be able to promote a career them them should talk about you like you're the biggest thing them should bring you to, to cocktail parties, to brunch, to corporate meetings, stuff like that. Make you talk to people higher up in, in, um, in the music industry. Bring you to Tough Gang Studio, bring, bring, bring you to King Jammies. Make you meet the, the, the pioneers of the music. You, you understand them? They need to be able to 
if you put you in the part of them people there so them people they can see you them people they can hear your craft you can be able to work with those people and get an insight as to their creative process so that them need for hype you up basically so it's like they're going to be a hype man the more talk about you like there is no other artist out there you understand because at the end of the day the more you make the more them make and we are going to talk about the percentage split and how much them collect and stuff like that a little more down in the video all right the next thing they need to be able to do is um coordinated tours and <laughs> when we talk about tours the terror and the silk bass thing just jump back in our mind when them go england and them said promote and appear or whatever whatever the whole saga thing the manager should be able to coordinate a smooth sailing tour all right so it's like an event basically i need to have this in place that in place where me i go stay how much me i get paid which shows me have tonight which club me i go all of them things that you don't pack you need to have a calendar where, where, where tell you days where you're free days where you have dubs days where you have shows days where you have is a whole bunch of work guys may i tell you if a manager artist who is big like if your boss big like skin them or just them like so far so sudden a lot of things will come your way and you need to have a manager with a head for him body i can make the right decision because with things kicking off so fast for you you can make a lot of bad decisions sign a lot of bad deals all right so you need to take into consideration getting a manager who have them head and them body and know about the music industry the ins and out of the music industry and next very important point that you the manager should be able to do as well is take the blame for you remember you know he might bring a lot of ideas to you but are you ultimately going to make the decision if you are going to decide that so for example you make a decision for sign a record deal and the, the deal was bad and it almost cost your career the manager should be the one who take the bullet for you go to the front forefront and say look it was my decision the artist never really wanted to do this but i forced him to do it or whatever the case might be make you look like this saint in the eyes of the people because you don't want to damage the brand you don't want to damage the image because remember you are a business and in this society they have this this cancer culture with the one like a shit to do it you get no matter how much work you do over the years that thing just erase every single good you ever do so you need to have somebody ready and able to take the fall for you and that should be your personal manager all right so those are just some very important points that i need to look for in a manager and make him know that this is what you need to be able to do for me if you want to manage me all right so make a look at the percentage now the so industry standard typically typically a manager would take 15 to 20 percent of your earnings and that is the the net earnings not the gross it's just a simple accounting term let me bring it down for you the gross earnings is before your expenses so you make a hundred thousand dollars for a show and the expenses to go to the show is you're buying your clothes you're buying liquor you're buying gas you're renting cars for your entourage or whatever it is those are considered expenses so you make a hundred thousand dollar and you spend thirty thirty thousand dollar on and expenses you're only left with seventy thousand dollars the manager will take 15 percent of that seventy thousand dollars all right and it's up to you again based on the agreement you sign it can be 15 it can be 16 17 18 20 but it's within that range that is industry standard if you want to give them 25 a your business that or whatever you're going to sign but may i tell you the industry standard is 15 to 20 percent all right and that number can get really it, it, it can be a lot you know 15 percent can be a lot and it might end up that you don't even get as much as the manager worse if it's a group say it's a group of four persons and you guys make a hundred thousand the manager forget 15 percent what left for you guys share you understand so you guys might end up getting the same amount as the manager or even less so the 15 percent can add up and what about when you get to the point where you're making a lot of money contracts coming in left right and center and the manager is getting 15 percent but that's the industry standard you sign off on it that's the agreement 15 percent all right so th those are just some of the points that you need to look for when you're getting a manager and ex what you need to expect from the manager 
there's a lot more as it relates to business manager we just talk about a personal manager now you probably are gonna need lawyers you probably are gonna need um pr entourage but as we say i'm gonna leave that for the next video we're gonna talk about the pr and we're gonna talk about the entourage i think jamaican artists need to think about them entourage and how much man them need for having them entourage because <laughs> we're not gonna say too much right now but we're gonna talk about that in the next video but that's it for now guys thinking about getting a manager think about these things and make the right decision all right whether you need a manager now or not so that is it don't forget to like subscribe and comment on the channel i'm out